Hey guys, I decided to make a quick video since I've been reading a lot about difficulties that people have been having running Tomb Raider on NVIDIA cards. I've been experiencing some issues as well with my 560 Ti, although people with 600 series cards seem to be getting the worst of it. Here's a list of things that NVIDIA users can do to troubleshoot the problem. The first thing you're going to want to do on all NVIDIA cards is disable Laura's TressFX hair enhancement. TressFX is an ATI technology, so naturally it's not yet optimized for NVIDIA graphics cards and it won't be until new drivers are released, which may not happen anytime soon. This one option alone can tank my FPS down from 60 into the single digits when the camera is focused on Loris' hair. And honestly speaking, I don't even think it looks all that great. The default ponytail works perfectly fine and it looks great. Number two is to turn off the tessellation feature. This is the number one cause of crashes on NVIDIA machines. While I'm not certain as to whether this is a problem with the PC port itself, the NVIDIA drivers, or both, turning off tessellation is sure to relieve most of your crash to desktop woes. As for what impact this will have on the fidelity of the game, a brief explanation of tessellation is that it's an efficient method of breaking up every polygon into numerous small triangulated ones. Turning tessellation off will make edges appear slightly less smooth than they would otherwise, although AA pretty much makes the difference hardly noticeable, and it may cause a tiny bit of pop-in in terms of the objects in the distance. This is something that will most likely be patched or fixed in the coming weeks as the people at Crystal Dynamics, Nix's software, and NVIDIA find out the cause of the problem. For now though, keep it off. The third issue is with the numerous problems the game has while running full screen. There have been reports of certain post-processing and camera effects not working at all while the game is running in full screen mode. I myself have noticed that sometimes the frame rate will tank heavily when trying to fraps in full screen, yet it works just fine when I fraps in a window of the same resolution. I've also noticed that the game freezes a lot when attempting to alt-tab to and from full screen mode. This is an issue that as of yet, there is no perfect solution to. I've tried using various utilities to force the game into a borderless window, but these cause a whole slew of new graphical errors, as you can see here. The best solution for now is to just suck it up and play the game in a maximized window, as you'll get the best graphical fidelity and performance like this. Otherwise, just try to avoid alt-tabbing, or make sure you hit alt-enter before you alt-tab out of the game to avoid random freezes. I hope this was helpful, seeing as how it would be a damn shame for people to just not play this great game because of the performance issues. Do let me know in the comments section below if you know of any other solutions or if you're encountering any other issues with the game. Hopefully these issues will be addressed in the coming weeks, but until then, I'm Yama, and this has been a Try 2 public service announcement.